our 11-day Doro Valley River Cruise with Scenic has landed us in the delightful town of Pinhau, and it is ripe and ready for exploring. This whole experience is like a choose-your-own-adventure. Scenic provide all the options, and you get to pick and choose as you please. Well, today I have spun the wheel, and it has landed on kayaking. From free time to do whatever you please, to all-inclusive tours, your days can be as busy or as peaceful as you please. And with options like hiking and kayaking, the more active guests among us are well and truly covered. So we're at the point where two rivers converge. Exactly. Pinyon, it's a tributary of the, the Douro River, has its source in the Alvão Mountain, which is north Douro Valley, Douro Wine region, and meets the Douro River in this very place and gives name to the town. In the vines just above Pinhau is Quinta da Roeda, sitting in one of the most spectacular locations in the Douro Valley. What is it about the Douro Valley that makes your wines so famous all around the world? Well, the unique terroir we have here in the Douro wine region, the geologic formation mainly composed by slate. Then we have the Mediterranean microclimate and also human hands tame the, this region. I think they would be very hard working human hands. This is so steep, it would be really labour intensive. Absolutely, you're right. So almost, even nowadays, almost all the working stages here in the Dorwine region are still done by hand. Croft Wines and its vineyards are some of the oldest in existence and tradition is still proudly upheld. When the grapes arrive, we need to stomp to tread the grapes. Oh, they still do that? Exactly. One, two, Left, right, one, two. Imagine this for two hours. Two hours. Exactly. The second phase we call freedom. So two more hours, then we can have the accordion, ladies singing, dancing. So, so people are like freestyling, exactly. whatever they want to freestyle. do. <laughs> that, that's as long as they're stomping. Two more hours. So in total, four hours. The proof, of course, is in the port itself. This one here, it is a really good wine, uh, Porto wine for the summer days, the hot summer days. You can drink as an appetizer before a meal, or if you wish, you can make a cocktail. Saúde. Saúde. Cheers. Oh, it's got a very deep flavour to it. Yeah, absolutely. From Pinhau, we're headed to Porto, the start and end point of this delightful 11-day scenic cruise and the location of one of the most memorable experiences of the trip. There are moments in every trip that give you goosebumps and you remember them for the rest of your life. And I have a feeling that tonight is going to be one of those moments. Not only is this 14th century Gothic church open exclusively for us scenic guests, but we're treated to a private performance within this sacred space. 